Hey, what's going on everybody? Shadowman number 9 here and today I've got a couple of packages here. Got some mail call. I figured I'd open these up, show you what's inside. Cool, let's check them out. That is beautiful. Look at that. That's exactly what I ordered. Always wanted one. Now, let's see what it is. Oh, look at that. Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider-Man, issue 115. Marvel 25th anniversary, that is beautiful. Wow. Man, that is in much better condition than the pictures. So I've been buying comics on eBay. This came from an eBay seller. Um, I ran into a couple of issues or I ran into a couple of listings for this issue, I should say. And everybody wanted top dollar. I mean, like a like double digits, uh, really high double digits for this. And a lot of theirs were not in as good as condition as this one for sure. This guy, I think I got this one for under four dollars. You know, that's pretty good. That's awesome. Well, let's keep it rolling. See what we got. I'm going to open it from the bottom because I want to use the knife. There we go. All right. Lunchables! Extra cheese! Hot damn! It's not what I ordered. I'm glad to see people actually know how to pack comic books. Sometimes too well. It's a problem I run into sometimes. Oh, here we go. We got Raiden and Kano. Mortal Kombat Raiden and Kano by Malibu Comics issue number one. This is the gold foil variant. I have just secured the Raiden and Kano uh, series, issues one through three, and I went ahead, I had a seller who was offering me a discount on this bad boy, so I went ahead and got it, because I'm a whore, I have to have all the variants, as well as the original issues themselves. Very good condition, very, very good. Oh, that gold foil too, that just pops, man. That's pretty nice. It's awesome. All right, what else we got? What's happening? Keep it rolling. This one looks like a couple, couple comic books, and of course, order so fucking much that I can't remember what I ordered. Alright. Got cardboard boxes for days, man. No, so I guess it's not a few, it's just, it was one issue, extremely well packaged. 
And we got DC's The House of Secrets, issue number 116. Look at that beauty. God, I love that color palette. Why did he put tape on the front? That's annoying. But very well packaged, though. I gotta give it to him. Come on. Oh, you bastard! You bastard! Moments later. Oh, we're gonna get it. It just, it just won't come up. <laughs> what the fuck? More moments later. Come on. What the shit? A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, we finally got the fucking tape off. Unfortunately, dealing with that, I've kind of fucked up the bag. Not a fan of that. I mean, it's just a bag. It's not the actual comic. Oh, and the bag's actually kind of fucked up anyway. Look at that. My comic is not secure. So, good. It was a blessing then. I'll go ahead and switch that bag out. And we'll be good to go. But check out that comic. That thing is beautiful. 20 cents back then. Man, what a deal. Awesome. Alright, last one for the night. Now, this, one's f this one feels heavy. Guys, I don't know what this is. I don't know. I have no clue. That's backwards. Okay. Set. Oh my god, there's fucking tape everywhere. I feel like I'm gonna be getting off. Oh yeah, there's a couple in here. I don't even know what these are. What are these? Oh, he pulled a fast one. I can't even see which way they are and what they are. It's a fucking mystery box. That's what this is. Hold on. Let's let's just let's take a peek here. Oh, I know what these are. I know what these are. These are my bread and butter, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, this is good stuff. Let me just lightly. Okay, so this is Neil Gaiman's Mr. Hero. From Techno Comics, this is issue four. I love independent comic books. I love Malibu, Eternity, Eclipse, Techno. Bunch of these publishers, man. I love all this stuff. So this is Neil Gaiman's Mr. Hero. You might remember Neil Gaiman as the creator of Angela from the Spawn comics. He got into a big, uh, big tuffle, big quarrel with uh, big old Todd McFarlane there over the rights of Angela. He also created, I think he created Medieval Spawn too. He created one of the other spawns, I can't remember. But he made Angela, and he retained the rights to Angela. That's why Angela's out having her own adventures, even though Todd killed her off in issue 100. Anywho, so that's Neil Gaiman's Mr. Hero. We got a bunch of other books that I'm refusing to show you. So we got Neil Gaiman's Mr. Hero number four. This is issue number one, The Pneumatic Man. Mr. Hero, the Pneumatic Man by Techno Comics. That's awesome. Also included, Game Piece and Trading Card. Hot diggity damn! And then we've got Leonard, Leonard Nimoy's Prime Mortals. This is a series that I've been on the hunt for lately. I've actually just got, I uh, just secured issues 1 through 13, and then issues 1 and 2 of the of, uh, Prime Mortal Origins. Either I secured it, or I thought I was going to get it and did not, or I missed the bid or something. I, I've, just, God, I've just been spending so much money on comic books, guys, I just can't even keep up. I know that I've bought the Primordial series. I've bought these issues like three times over, trying to collect the entire thing. So, this is Primordial's issue one. Fucking beautiful, too. Absolutely beautiful. Man, okay. And so then we got another of Neil Gaiman's top-notch series. This one is Technophage, issue number one. I kind of like that dragon. I like that color scheme, that orange and yellow. It's fucking sexy. I love 90s comics, man. I love 90s comics from independent publishers. They're, they're, the fuck, they're just bad. They're great. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know how to describe the feelings within me that I am feeling. 
Last but not least, we have issue zero of Neil Gaiman's Wheel of Worlds. An exclusive Techno Comics sketchbook and poster inside. 48 page collector edition. That is a sick cover. That is a sick cover. Love the saturation on those colors. It's awesome. Now, Neil Gaiman did The Sandman, which I believe is a, I want to say, Netflix show that I have not seen. And I don't know anything about the series itself. So, hold on. Let me get the, uh, let's do this right. I want to get, get that bad boy up there. Let me just go through these quick. I know we've already seen them, but let's do a, do a little once over for the camera here. Okay, let me get my brand new tripod all set up. <laughs> All right, so we've got issues 115 of Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man. Love that green backdrop. That is fucking sexy. And of course, Peter's sporting his uh, ever so stylish symbiote suit. Doctor Strange doing the jazz hands. It's pretty sexy. Love it. And we've got Raiden and Kano. The gold foil variant edition. Fabulous first issue of the team up you thought you'd never see. I am kind of intrigued by that. When I was first looking up the uh, Mortal Kombat comics when I was a kid years and years ago, I saw Raiden and Kano was a series. I'm like, how in the hell does that work? So I am interested to start reading that, see what's going on there. And then, yeah, there's that sexy DC House of Secrets. Two people in a uh, horse and carriage or a buggy driving by the gallows, getting chased by a spirit. Spirit of sexy comic book covers, that's what that is. All right. Oh, we got more tape. God damn it. Yeah, there we go. That's awesome. Neil Gaiman's Mr. Hero, the new Matic Man, issue four, baby. Look at that art. That is, that's just awesome. That's amazing. That's good stuff. Here we go. Issue number one of Neil Gaiman's Mr. Hero, the Pneumatic Man. I love how everything is... is uh, it's. It, I don't want to say this in a bad way, but it's dull. Like, if you go back... Let's bring back issue four real quick. If you go back to issue four... It's got one color palette. It sticks to one color palette, except for, oh, I guess you could include the yellow inside of the orange and the brown and stuff too, but it's all dull. Like the title pops out. Everything else looks like it's, I don't know, chiseled in stone is the best way to put it or painted in a very dull fashion, but it's, it's good. I don't want it to sound like it's bad. It's really good. The art is incredible. Oh, I love that Primordials. I have never read Primordials, by the way. I know of Techno Comics, but I've never been able to find their comics until I became an adult and got a PayPal account and was able to uh, traverse the inner webbings of eBay. And then I was able to find them everywhere. And I'm just now getting them. So I'm very interested to see who this Martian Manhunter slash Thanos looking motherfucker is. Because uh, he looks amazing. Very well designed. I love that. And his uh, color palette as well. He's got the blue cape with the green skin. And he's got that silver, sexy chrome. Sporting some Jesus abs. Dude is built. Let's do it. Let's do it. What we got? What was this? Oh, yes. The dragon. Technophage. I don't even know what that is. But it's awesome. Mr. Dragon Man or something. Yeah, Neil Gaiman's got a lot of credits to his name. He's got... Um, He's, he's a good writer. From everything everything that I've heard about him, it all boils down to just him being a really good creative within the industry. From his writing to character design, I hear a lot of good things. I've never been able to check out his works, but now I can happily say that I will have that opportunity. And then last but not least, we have Wheel of Worlds. Yeah, Neil Gaiman did a lot for Techno before coming over and working for Todd. Look at that, issue zero, 48 page collector's edition. I'm telling you that artwork is just amazing. 
And it seems like all of Techno Comics have the same kind of art style. I don't know if it's the same artist working on every book or if they do have different artists, but it's very tight. It's very uniform. The artwork on a lot of Techno Comics' books are pretty uniform within uh, one another, even though it's different series and stuff. I, I have to imagine it's a small company with um, you know the same artist doing all the other books or uh, I don't know. I'm interested. I'm really interested. So, quick video, guys. I just had a couple packages I wanted to open, get get the boxes out of the way. I wanted to share with you my uh, my treasures that I had accumulated online. Let me know which one of these is your favorite, man. Which one you're most excited for me to read. And uh, other than that, you guys take it easy. You guys read responsibly. And uh, thanks for watching, man. Have a good one.